Welcome back to Mornings with Jerisha. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, yes, yes. I got my coffee in hand this morning. We're going to decree and declare that it's going to be a great morning, a great Tuesday morning to you all. So over the weekend, I attended this conference and it was a pretty amazing conference. And when I tell y'all, I mean, it was it was pretty amazing. There were so many takeaways, so many nuggets. I was able to connect. As a matter of fact, I'm still connecting with those other people that that you know attended the conference, participated in the conference. So it was pretty amazing. All about growth, all about goals, all about your journey, and really all about the fact that you owe you. So if you're not familiar with you owe you, it is Eric Thomas's new book that he just recently released. That's pretty awesome, pretty amazing. If you don't know who Eric Thomas is, do your research. He's pretty amazing as well. And so it was his conference. He has some amazing speakers there. Truly amazing. Very much game changer, life changing, a lot of nuggets, a lot of takeaways. And so this morning, it really had me thinking, even after, I mean, even during the conference, uh, after the conference, it it just, you know, you want to attend those conferences that you feel like is truly life changing for you that you just can pull away from that conference and be like, wow, that made me, um, you know, that made me think about this, or this this is the action items that I'm planning on taking, and this is how I'm going to leverage this information in my life. And so today, I really want to speak on the fact that I feel like we struggle with this particular topic every single day. It is really, it makes the difference between your success. So you being able to move forward, you being able to level up, it makes the difference. So if you do not have this, there's no way, no shape or form that you can be successful in your life, in your business, in anything that you are really trying to do. And that is belief. You have to believe in you. So on this Tuesday, I just felt like, you know, it really, there were so many different nuggets that were shared that I just, it was so very powerful. And ultimately, that is the, the, the big takeaway, the overall takeaway from all the stories that were shared. And it was just, it was truly amazing. So we know that belief drives behavior and behavior drives results. And with that being said, that really just, when you think about belief, it's all about your confidence, right? So your confidence, are you confident in, are you confident in you? Do you know your value? Do you have your own sense of worthiness? Do you know what you bring to the table? And I think it's so important for us to have this conversation because If we're not going to sit down and be completely honest and transparent with ourselves and say, you know what, this is a struggle of mine. This is something that maybe, you know, maybe you've been struggling with this for years and you really just haven't dealt with it, dealt with that struggle. Yet on the other side of it, you're trying to figure out why it is you're feeling stuck, why it is that you're not really being able to achieve your personal goals. And, and, and so If we're going to be completely honest, we know that confident and being confident, uh, confident is very, very important because again, it goes back to, if you don't believe in you, you can't, you cannot expect someone else to believe in you, but if you don't believe in you, how are you going to produce the results? Because your behavior always lines up with what you believe. So if you believe that you can't do something, guess what? You're not going to do it just based off of your own belief. And it's so, it is so powerful. It's so valuable for us as we're all on this journey. That's where we really need to make sure we are self-aware. And so that is, you know, taking time to assess where you're at, to do an assessment, to understand if you're lacking the confidence that you need to, to um, 
execute on your goals, on your dreams, on your purpose. You know, that confidence is what is going to take you to the next level. Now, I know if you can think back to any any situation in your life where you have not felt as confident as you, you know, you 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 could and it it just it makes a difference. I feel like it makes a difference in how we walk, how we do business, how we interact with other people. It makes a difference. Again, belief drives behavior. So have you taken time to really check your own confidence level? Have you checked your belief system? What it is that you believe as far do you believe in yourself? Have you checked that? How have you checked it? Have you checked it? Because when we think about just being confident, there are so many benefits that come with believing in ourselves. I believe and I know that you're more happier and you enjoy your life. You have a more sense of enjoyment for for your life. I feel like you feel you, you know you you even feel more fulfilled. There's less self-doubt and limitations. You gain strength in your capabilities. I think that it also like releases you and there's, there's that freedom from fear and anxiety and um, you reduce and there's a reduction in, in the stress in your life and, and it's a motivating factor for you. So how many of you are really saying right now, you know, I've struggled, I've struggled with this confidence thing. I struggle with believing in myself. However, I'm really wanting to make that shift. I'm wanting to make some things happen. I'm wanting to transform my beliefs so, so that I don't have that that those unlimiting beliefs so that holds us back and have that self-doubt that holds us back. And one of the questions I would ask you to ask yourself is how are you or how do you talk to yourself? Now, this may sound like, you know, I, I don't I don't even talk to myself. You know, I'm not trying to go all crazy on you. But what I'm saying is, how are you talking to yourself? Are you harsh and judgmental or are you supporting and loving? Now, we all talk to ourselves, sometimes even out loud. And what we have to understand is that we have to have those motivation self-talk. We have to have that that positive narrative that we're continuing to speak into ourselves and speak over ourselves and continue that. It's a daily thing. It's not something you just do early in the morning and then you go about your day. It is something that you have to continue to do. So how are you talking to yourself? And have you really noticed? So I really want you to be be um, mindful of how you're talking throughout the day. Take one day, perhaps today or tomorrow, to really pay attention on the narrative that you have and that you're speaking to yourself and how it can be so detrimental to your goals, to your dreams, to your purpose. You know, often we may think, you know what, I am still trying to get past this level that I'm at and not even realize that you are the very one that is stopping you from getting to the next level because of the narrative that you're speaking from day to day. What narrative are you speaking over yourself? And what narrative can you be speaking over yourself every single day. You know, this whole talking negatively to ourselves, it it is it what does it produce? Because honestly, if you think about it, it produces it, it produces us not being productive every day, right? And so it produces those, you know, ir- irrational beliefs about ourselves, right? It produces a uh, fear and anxiety. It produces so many things that is not in line with us being great and the greatness that is within you. So we have to stop the negative self-talk, the negative narrative that we're continuing to utilize. It is not helping you. 
And we have to begin and understand that if we do, if we do, if we do not reinforce our negative beliefs, they have no power over us. So why are you giving it power? Why are you giving that negative narrative such as I'm not worth it or I can't do it or people won't like me or I'm not enough or what about nothing ever goes right or my opinion doesn't matter? Why are you giving that narrative, that negative narrative power over you? You cannot, do not believe those things because they are wrong. They are wrong. So we have to be careful of what we're putting in. There is so much power in positivity. Our minds are so very powerful, more powerful than you even realize. The thoughts we produce can translate into action and that is how we truly achieve greatness. However, if we are filling our minds with negative comments about ourselves in our circumstances, we are creating boundaries for ourselves that we otherwise would not need to overcome. We have to think of our mind as like a computer, that you must program it for it to run efficiently, for it to run smoothly, and for it to complete the task that's needed. Your mind is the same way. So instead of the negative narrative that is really driving your behavior, you need to say and affirm, I can handle this. I'm making progress. I am in control of this. I am willing to try. I don't need to compare myself to others. I am complete as I am. Try utilizing positive narrative and speaking that over yourself. Now there's a quote, and you know I love quotes. There is a quote by, I believe it's John Lennon, that says, everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. Think about that. Everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. How can you begin to apply positive narrative into your life? Well, I'm going to tell you because it's something that I use every single day, and that is mantras and affirmations. Now, those are two forms of self-talk that we can use to cultivate self-care, to really, you know, to really use that to, to help us begin to improve and develop our confidence in ourselves. Because again, on the flip side of that, speaking the, narr- the negative narrative is not helping you. It's not helping you at all. So we need to we need to change that whole thought process. We need to change that thought process, change our beliefs so that our behavior is in line with where we're trying to go. See, you can't get somewhere unless you believe you can get there. Do you truly believe that you can get to the destination that you're headed to. Now, we all know what what our goals are, what our dreams are, and our purpose. So do you really feel like your belief right now in yourself is going to get you to that next step? If not, we need to begin to make some changes. Start using those positive affirmations. They will help you. They will help you. I tell you, I use affirmations every single day. And not only do I use them, but I listen to them. I recorded them so that I can play them if I'm somewhere and I need to just have that moment to be able to decree, declare, and affirm. Guess what? I am going to pull out my phone and listen to those affirmations. And it's me. So it's me speaking over myself. Try recording yourself, speaking 
your positive affirmations and affirming the things over your life. So when you have that moment of self-doubt that you can redirect and say, you know what? This is not helping me. This is not helping me. This is not producing results. This is not producing action. This is doing the opposite. How can you begin to change your belief so that it drives the behavior so that you can produce the results? How can you begin to make the change? Now, you know, I always talk about on this show our habits because I feel like it's all in line with, with, you know, our belief, our confidence is all a part of it. It's a part of the same journey. See, and our habits are going to either propel you in the direction to your goals, or it's going to steer you off the path from them. But we have to think about this because either way, they have powerful contribution to the outcome. Habits are truly powerful and we have to begin to check our habits. So whatever your desired habit may be, we have to look at it and ask the questions. Is it, is that idea, is whatever that habit is, is it truly helping you? Is it helping you? And how can your habits begin to match and, and fall in line with the direction you're trying to go? What habit is it that you're looking to really implement in your life? We have to be clear, and I'm all about asking those important questions. I love asking questions because the more questions you ask, the more you learn, even about you. So you have to begin to ask yourself questions because ultimately no one, no one knows you or should know you better than you. But there's a lot of us that are walking around that don't even know ourselves because we haven't taken the time to sit down to become self-aware and really understand who we are. Again, understanding who we are is, and, and it's only through understanding who we are, is when we'll be able to move and, and, and level up and grow. But you have to understand who you are first. You have to sit down, and I'd like to say sit down with yourself. (laughs) We got to be willing to sit down with ourselves to learn about us. When is the last time you learned something new about you? When is the last time that you were asking, you asked yourself questions, the really important questions to tap into why you are where you are? and why you're not one moving forward, and why you're not growing, why you're not able to level up, when is the last time you actually took an assessment and assessed where you are at? When is the last time you were honest and transparent with yourself about the journey that you're on and your goals and your dreams and your purpose? When was the last time We really have to cultivate self-awareness. It's so important to know who you are. It's so important for us to really be our own best friend. And and for most of us, if you have a best friend, you know a lot about that person. You probably know their favorite things and everything else, right? You know a lot about that person. But what do you know about you? What do you know about you? There are so many benefits of us really discovering self. There's so many benefits of being your own best friend. Like I said, cultivating. It's, it comes with the cultivation of self-awareness. The ability for us to support and comfort ourselves. And then the increased acceptance of yourself do you accept you do you accept you and we also realize our worthiness our worth and our value 
And what you bring to the table. That's so important. Do you know what you bring to the table? Do you know what you bring to the table? If not, then it's time to start asking those questions. It's time to sit down and really become self-aware. It's time to really start working on your belief and working on your confidence. And there's so many different tools that we have out there. There's so many different resources. If you ask me, there is no reason for anyone to make any kind of excuses about the journey they're on, especially when we have so many resources at our fingertips. It's just a matter of how do you utilize those resources? And I'll tell you this, you don't utilize those resources by talking about utilizing those resources. You utilize them by taking one at a time and trying to really use it to where it can help you so that you discover you. And there's so many tools, journaling, affirmation, affirmations. There's so many tools that we can utilize for really helping us on this belief journey. What tools do you use? What tools are you using? I should say, write them down. Do you utilize journey, journaling? Journaling is very powerful. But not everyone utilizes that. And that's the thing. Not all the tools is not a one size fits all. So everything that's available to to us is not going to work for everyone. But you have to be willing to try it, to see. Try it out. See if it works. If it doesn't, move on to the next one. That is not your cue to give up. You have to keep going so that you become more self-aware who you are. And truly, I feel like it's a matter of mastering yourself. How can you begin to master yourself? What tools, what questions are you asking to really develop self? Because honestly, if, if, you, if we're gonna be completely honest, you cannot grow, you cannot accomplish that goal, you cannot fulfill that dream, you can't walk into your purpose, If you don't know about self, it's all about really mastering who you are, getting clear with who you are and what you bring to the table. And that is all about assessment, assessing where you are, the skills that you have, your belief, the limiting, the limiting beliefs that you have. When I say belief, I'm talking about all of them. So you can begin to tap into the why that, that fear is bringing and that anxiety brings. You need to be clear about all of that and why it's stopping you so you can begin to push forward so that you can then say, you know what? Dear future me, I love present me. Dear future me, I love present me. Could you imagine writing that letter to yourself? As a matter of fact, I think it's a great, a great exercise for all of us to do. Because I think it's an insightful experience. It puts you in the now, in the present, the things that you want to be sure you remember, right? So if you're going to write to yourself, maybe you write to yourself and, um, you know, address it to yourself for you to read five years from now. What would you say to yourself? What kind of questions would you like to ask? What goals would you want to achieve? You know, as we think about this whole thing of writing to ourselves, and I really think this is good. This is good. It's really good because it is, it's really a way that you can get clear on where you are now and the direction you're trying to go. And it's a way for you to really set those intentions, right? You want to set those intentions. And so if you were to say, dear future me, dear future me, hmm, why would you not 
address yourself in a positive manner. I believe that every last one of us would. We would want to speak words of motivation, words of encouragement, words of empowerment to each and every one of us. What would you tell your future self? You got this, right? You got this. You are powerful. You are amazing. You can do this. You recognize your power and you push forward. Not only did you push forward, but you accomplished your goals. You fulfilled your dreams and you're walking in your purpose. What would you tell your future self? What would you tell your future self? You know, again, this belief thing is so very powerful. And we have to understand how we can cultivate the greatness for ourselves. And in cultivating greatness for ourselves, it's all about how we think. And that thought translates to action. And our our belief, like I said, belief is going to drive that behavior and behavior drives results. What results are you looking for? What would you want that final outcome to be? Now, I'm going to say I believe that we all would want success. We want success, right? We want success in some way, shape or form. And everyone's definition of success is different. But we want success in our lives. We want to add value. We want success in our lives in some way, shape, or form. The the thought is, how do you plan to get there? How do you plan to accomplish success if you don't believe in you? You can't get there by not believing in you. But the question is, are you willing to do the work? Are you willing to work on you? Are you willing to work on you? How many of us are working on ourselves right now? And keep working. Because it, it is a process that continues. We continue to develop. But really, once you, can, once you go on that journey of really understanding who you are, that self-awareness, that uh, uh, self-mastery, once you begin to master yourself, you can begin to accomplish your goals, accomplish your dreams, and walk in your purpose. You have to believe in you and keep believing in you, and keep believing in you, right? We have to keep believing in ourselves. You know, this this topic is very powerful to me because there are so many of us, I mean, like there's so many of us that really struggle with this. We struggle so hard with believing in ourselves, yet, Often we want someone else to believe in us, but yet we don't even want to do the work. You have to do the work. Do the work to work on you. I promise you, I promise you, you will not regret it. You won't regret it, but you got to put in the work, y'all. You have to put in the work. Now, like I said, this is one of those this is one of those mornings that that um, it, it literally is is something that, my goodness, is something that it bothers me because I it's one thing when you see the greatness in other people, yet they fail to see the greatness in themselves, and so I just wish so many people would recognize their own greatness and the power that is within them. And so that's why I'm here to empower you (laughs) these mornings. I'm here to tell you that you got this. And I believe in you, even if you don't believe in you, but you have to start believing in you 
because my belief in you is not going to help you in accomplishing your goals, your dreams, and walking in your purpose. It's only your belief in you that is going to help you level up and really get to that success that you desire. So I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready because it's time to execute. It's time to execute. Let's get it. Let's go.